In this lesson, we want to start with the customizing settings for asset accounting. And actually, we will create the most important object, which is called a chart of depreciation. So, well, uh, let's switch to the IMG menu. Here we have the SPRO transaction. And let's just uh, switch now to the customizing. So, well, uh, we have a complete section for asset accounting and uh, well just to show this let's open the path so it's uh, well actually it's inside financial accounting of course here we have asset accounting and now um, for the chart of depreciation we need to open the organizational structures because here we have a copy reference chart of depreciation depreciation areas uh, let's start this transaction uh, well, we have uh, uh, three sub steps. Right now, uh, we want the first one, which is using copy reference chart of depreciation to create the new one. Actually, that is uh, something really important. SAP will deliver uh, just uh, templates that we actually that these templates are uh, by country, so we can just uh, depending on the country for the company code, we can just use that template to create our own. So well. Um, Let's uh, select that sub step to show the steps. And as you can see, well, uh, this might remind you uh, of the transaction to uh, create a new company code because it was very similar, pretty much empty. Uh, but we have these icons here. And right now we want to copy a, a, an existing chart of depreciation to a new chart of depreciation. So let's just click the copy or object. And of course, we need to enter the ID of the reference chart of depreciation in the first field. And uh, well, let's enter the ID of uh, the new chart of depreciation that we want to create. OK, after we've done this, let's just click Continue. The system will show the information message about the uh, transport of number ranges. Uh, but OK, let's just continue. And uh, to this question, th that do, do you really want to transport number ranges? Actually, let's just say no for the time being. As you can see, that will jumpstart the process. And well, we need to confirm uh, or create a new customizing request. Right now, we will just confirm this one. The process will just continue. And well, when everything is finished, the uh, system will just show another information message saying that the chart of the precision was copied correctly. So, well, let's just confirm this. And actually, let's go back because now we want to uh, run the second sub step here. Um, we just want to modify the description because, well, we just copied an existing uh, chart of the precision to a new chart of the precision to create a new one. But Pretty much everything is copied, every even the the description. So we want to modify the description. So well, let's just select the second sub step, and well, let's click choose. So well, uh, here we have the the one that we created in the previous step. Let's just delete this, uh, and we will have it like this: chart of appreciation for company code SETI, the company code that we have been uh, working with. So well, uh, after we have done this. Let's just save the change, confirm the uh, proposal there by the there by the system, and well, then we just have data was saved correctly. After this, let's close the sub step pop up, and actually, well, with this we are finishing the lesson. But of course, we still need to go through so many things. Uh, in FI, but especially in asset accounting. So we invite you to uh, keep learning with the next.